The president's public condemnation of opposition leaders hailing from Kampala has elicited a rebuke. <laughs> I know at a certain age, as human beings, we tend to, to forget. I was in P6 when President Museveni was shown in as the president of Uganda. It is now my second born who is in that class. And I wonder whether the, all the Ugandans <coughs> who voted for President Seven hanged themselves. Because we know that President Seven has done a lot of disservice to this country. During a news conference, the Lord Mayor and lawmakers from Kampala criticized the President, saying his remarks did not portray the decorum of his office. We think he should be corrected. He should be advised by his about 100 advisors. This is a matter which is going to be deliberated on, on the plat in the platform of parliament. It's very, very absurd that a person who is supposed to be the fountain of honor can make such outlandish statements. And we demand that the president should apologize. During the third KCC anniversary, Museveni accused the Kampala electorate of voting the opposition, whose brand of toxic politics has timid economic development in the city. Lord Mayor, Lord Mayor, Lord Mayor. Oyo, Rukwa, Arieri, Ne, Nebi Jegere, Nebi Kufuru, Agamba, Lord Mayor, Lord Mayor. Try one more, Maz. A world head of state. The powers of the office of the Lord Mayor have never been diluted in the Constitution. Arias Lukwago, who has had a tumultuous spell at City Hall, says the president's comments tantamount to treason. In Article 2 of the Constitution, by purporting to usurp the people's power, you are committing a treason. The troubled mayor also denied allegations that he's a murderer after the president said opposition leaders often spark riots which result into death. Shilandu Wuchire, NTV.